To talk more about this, we're pleased to be joined via Skype from Washington, D.C. by Republican strategist and former senior staff advisor for President George W. Bush, Brad Blakeman. And also joining us via Skype from out in Las Vegas, political commentator and talk show host Wayne Allen Root. Wayne, of course, was a libertarian nominee for vice president back in 2008. Uh, Wayne, last night, we not only saw protesters toting Mexican flags, but we also saw rioters getting violent with a man in a wheelchair. Take a look at it here. Pushing and shoving and then throwing water on a wheelchair-bound man. Got to ask you this, Wayne. Who do you think is paying these agitators to go out there? Who's funding this? George Soros? The Clinton campaign? Who? Well, I assume George Soros and MoveOn.org, but I'll tell you the truth, it's all good for Donald Trump. I mean, these scenes, keep it up. All of you illegals from Mexico want to fly Mexican flags, keep doing it because Donald Trump will be the next president of the United States. You couldn't be making a better case for Donald and you couldn't be making a worse case for yourself. You're enraging millions of Americans. And by the way, J.D., I don't know if you saw the new uh, report that came out about welfare in America just came out a few days ago, and illegals are on welfare on much higher percentages than native-born Americans. They get much more welfare dollar-wise than native-born Americans. And here's the important part. The groups that are on the highest uh, total amount of welfare per person by far is Mexican and Central American. So this myth that they're coming here out of love is a lie. They're coming well, here. Well, obviously, the voters have the vo voters have proved that Wayne Allen Root a frustration apparent not only within the electorate, but Brad Blakeman, Donald Trump, took to Twitter last night to uh, give voice to his frustration, tweeting out the protesters in Mexico were thugs who were flying the Mexican flag. The rally inside was big and beautiful, but outside criminals. Brad, he has uh, crystallized the division. Uh, even in voicing his frustration. Yeah, and he got it down to a tweet. Uh, look, what happened last night and what's happened in Chicago and St. Louis and California is an outrage. Uh, people talk about Donald Trump being uh, incite insightful in uh, violence. But we apparently are having some problems with, uh, with Brad Skype. Brad, we're going to try to clear that up. I hear what you're saying. It's not Trump inciting the violence. He's pointing out what's going on. Let's point now to telephone calls. We welcome them at 1-877-NEWSMAX. First up, from New Mexico tonight, we have Pam on the line. Pam, welcome to Newsmax Prime. Hi, good evening, everyone. Uh, I had some comments regarding our Governor Martinez. Go and right ahead. Our mayor. Yes, uh, I was saddened. I always had a really high opinion of our governor. In fact, my daughter knew her. She was part of her security detail at her victory party. And uh, I still have a high opinion of her, but I'm really confused and disappointed, sadly, that she didn't care enough about the people in the state to represent uh, our possible, you know, president-elect. And uh, it didn't look good. Uh, we're basically a very friendly state, and people that don't come out and respect us no other reason. Well, Pam, this let me ask you, let me ask you this, Pam. Side. Let me ask yeah. you this. This the, whether she agrees with all of Donald Trump's philosophy or not, doesn't it come down to common courtesy? Do you believe yeah. Governor Martinez was discourteous toward the presumptive nominee? Yes, I do, and she misrepresented our state. We're a friendly state, and for one thing, it's not good for tourism. Well, you, you live in the land of enchantment, and I'm your neighbor, having represented Arizona in the Congress. Let me see if we've reestablished this with Brad Blakeman to get his view from Washington. Susanna Martinez, chairing the Republican Governors Association. Simple courtesy would suggest at least a meeting or hi, uh, Mr. Trump. Welcome to my state, would it not? Absolutely. I think uh, Susanna Martinez made a big Again, we are having trouble with, with Brad Skype. Uh, let me turn to Wayne Allen Root for his take on this. Well, I'm, I'm just very surprised and shocked. I think it's a bad move. It's the same move that Nikki Haley made. Why do you want to be antagonistic to the guy? At least when Nikki Haley made the move, it was March. And it was early. The, uh, South Carolina was, I believe, the third primary. But why would you ever want to be a Republican governor of, of a state and be antagonistic to the Republican nominee? We all know Trump is absolutely 
the Republican nominee now. And Susanna Martinez had a great shot, I thought, of being the vice presidential candidate. She certainly was one of the leading contenders as a woman, as a Latina, as a very popular governor, poll ratings wise, uh, as someone who was known in the past as a Tea Party type of Republican governor, I thought she should be on the short list for VP. She certainly, after last night, isn't on that list anymore. And I'm very sad for uh, Susanna Bid. Well, there, there are a couple other things, as I understand it, for my friends in New Mexico, a, a couple of controversies involving the governor and some personal issues there that may render the number two spot a moot point. We'll try to get back to that in a little while. Let me take on something that during my days running for office, Wayne, I called it the myth of the monolith. The thought is in Washington that there's no way Hispanics are going to be for Donald Trump. Yet the folks at Real Clear Politics found something different. Let's look and listen. My name is Jorge from Los Angeles, and I'm voting for Donald Trump because it's simple. We need to build a wall. We need to secure the border. I'm a Mexican Trump supporter. Yes, you heard that right. A Mexican Trump supporter. We do exist, even though the media says that we don't. There are many more like me. There are many reasons why I support Donald J. Trump for President of the United States. But the main reason are the economy, jobs, security. We need to protect our border. Yeah, Wayne, just because someone has a Hispanic last name doesn't mean they're instantly for open borders and amnesty, does it? No, but I mean, look, it, there's no hiding the fact, and it's not a bad thing, that Donald Trump's base, I believe, is, is the angry white middle class. That's what got Donald where he is. Now, from here, I think he has to extend the tent. I think he can get legal Hispanic voters and good vote totals with legal Hispanics. I think he'll do well with uh, some black voters who understand that building a wall is great news for black Americans because millions of foreigners coming in are taking away jobs. And so that's hurting white working class, black working class, and Hispanic working, legal Hispanic working class voters. Donald Trump is a great president for blacks, for women, for Hispanics, for gays. Wayne, if you care pardon, about pardon the jobs, interruption. Pardon the interruption, but try, time is uh, growing short here. Only about a minute 30 remaining in the segment. We should note that Newsmax CEO Chris Ruddy wrote a column appearing on our parent website, Newsmax.com. He writes, why Newt Gingrich for vice president is pure genius. Do you agree with that assessment, Wayne? We've got about a minute remaining. Sure, I read the article. I thought everything Chris wrote made perfect sense. I'm a fan of Newt Gingrich. I've said all along that Donald Trump needs to burnish his conservative credentials and lock down the conservative vote. And all those people who said never Trump on the Cruz side, I think they love Newt Gingrich. I think Newt would be great in debates. He's a wonderful debater. And he's just like Donald. He's in your face. He always takes the offense against liberals. So Newt would be a great choice. I think Chris Reddy's Right on the money. All right. The uh, choice for number two of the Libertarian Party back in 2008, Wayne Allen Root. We appreciate your time tonight from Las Vegas. Also, our apologies uh, for Brad Blakeman. We'd like to visit more with Brad. We had troubles with his Skype signal from Washington, D.C. Later on in this program, Michael Cutler and others will join us to talk about the border and illegal immigration and what's going on allowing Syrian refugees in. But coming up next, Hillary's legal woes, the possible impeachment of the IRS commissioner and more as we speak to the leader of the House Freedom Caucus, Jim Jordan of Ohio, himself mentioned for the number two spot on the ticket. Don't go away. More of Newsmax Prime after this.